Welcome. My name is Diane Frenzel and I'm with Barbara Johnson from the Delaware Readiness Teams. Today we will discuss health and wellness. The purpose of the Academy is to inform parents and caregivers of the, about expectations for their children who will be entering kindergarten in the coming school year. These presentations are based on the domains listed on the Delaware Early Learning Survey, which is used to assess all kindergarten children in the first 30 days of school and taken directly from Teaching Strategies Goals, Objectives for Development and Learning. The domain that we will discuss today is physical development. There is no domain for health on the survey, but we will add some health ideas to our presentation. So our first area is what is physical wellness? Physical wellness includes physical activity, nutrition, and mental health well-being. Let's consider nutrition for a moment. We know that the proper nutrition requires a balance of fruits, vegetables, grains, and proteins. My plate is a program that helps explain healthy food choices. According to my plate, children aged four to eight years old should have one and a half cups of vegetables each day. Eating healthy foods is an essential part of child development. You can find more information about this on www.choosemyplate.gov. So what is physical development? Children have many opportunities to practice their gross motor skills, such as pulling, climbing, running, kicking, throwing, jumping, and other fine motor skills, such as cutting, drawing, and writing. So why is physical development important? Brain research points out the importance of early positive movement experiences to brain development. Physical development is linked to children's emotional development and their school performance. The more children can do physically, the more willing they are to interact with other children and try new and challenging physical tasks. This establishes a positive cycle that affects children's overall learning and health. So what are the expectations? So there are four different expectations. Demonstrates traveling skills, demonstrates balancing skills, demonstrates gross motor manipulative skills, and demonstrates fine motor strength and coordination. This is a list of gross motor and fine motor goals that young children are expected to master. They involve moving from place to place, bouncing, throwing and catching, gripping, cutting, and writing. So let's take a look at the first one, demonstrating travel skills. Travel skills are skills that involve moving the body from one place to another, such as running, skipping, and marching. The early years are critical for the development of the large muscles needed for traveling. The expectation aims to promote the development of physical skills children need to enjoy participation in physical activities. Children need to participate in planned physical activities as well as unstructured play. So what do traveling expectations look like? These are the expectations for traveling for young children. They involve running without running into things, going up and down stairs, using playground equipment, riding a bicycle. As children become more experienced and coordinated, the movements can be combined and become more complex. So some of the things that parents can do is provide time every day for outdoor play and exercise, play music during movement activities, play traveling games such as hopscotch, follow the leader, red light, green light, and mother may I. Provide traveling toys like tricycles, bikes, and scooters, and also using movements during and after story time. So demonstrating balancing skills. Balancing is different, difficult for very young children because of their uneven body proportions. As children become less top heavy, their ability to balance improves. Uh, static balance occurs when the body is holding a particular position. Static balance can be standing on one foot or sitting on a bounce ball. Dynamic balance occurs when the body is moving. It can be seen while jumping and landing, swinging and swaying and dodging. So what does balancing expectations look like? Balancing expectations are that children demonstrate control in traveling, weight bearing and balance activities on a variety of body parts. Children may become like a statue while making a symmetrical or non-symmetrical shape. 
So some of the things that parents can do to support this area is have children stand on one foot and freeze for three seconds. Encourage children to use different parts of the body to bounce, such as their feet, hands, back, and bottom. Practice walking while bouncing bean bags on different parts of the body, such as hands, shoulders, chin, and head. Practice walking on beams or curbs. Practice yoga. And also practice jumping over objects from one spot to another. So let's look at gross motor manipulative skills. Gross motor manipulative skills are when the child throws and catches, bounces balls, kicks, or hits the ball with a, rat or a bat or racket. It is important to note that children can throw at advanced levels before they can catch. Children should explore and experiment with balls and similar objects of various sizes and weights. Basic ball skills may also have a positive effect on self-concept and social skill development. Children must learn the important safety component of learning how to maintain their position in relation to people and objects. So what does gross motor manipulative expectations look like? The skills of kicking and punting, throwing and catching, volleying and dribbling, striking with rackets and paddles, and striking with long handled implements are all a part of this expectation. The goal is for children to demonstrate progress towards achieving mature form in more complex skills. Some things that parents and grownups can do to support this are to provide balls of various sizes, textures, and grips to explore, use scarves, balloons, bean bags, and yarn balls to practice catching, provide lightweight clubs or mallets and balls of various sizes to practice hitting along the ground, provide blast plastic cups and tennis or foam balls to practice catching and throwing skills. Practice striking a beach ball against a wall, allow the ball to bounce once on the ground and then catch the ball and dribble large balls. Now let's look at fine motor skills. Fine motor skills involve the ability to hold and manipulate things using the fingers and hands. They require strength and dexterity. Fine motor skills are important in the performance of daily routines and many school related tasks. Despite the growing prevalence of technology, written communication skills in the primary grades remain important. Self care tasks include eating, toileting, dressing, toothbrushing, and nose blowing. These skills give children the experience of doing things on their own and build confidence. So what does fine motor strength and coordination look like? Fine motor strength and coordination involves the child using their hands and fingers to do a task. Squeezing squirt toys, picking up things with tongs or tweezers, lacing, cutting, drawing are all fine motor skills. Other fine motor skills are buttoning and zipping. Other fine motor skills can be practiced while cooking and eating, playing with connecting toys and using a keyboard. The child should use a three point grip when writing and drawing. Gender and family background affect the development of children's fine motor skills. Girls tend to be more advanced than boys in fine motor skills. Young children in some cultures perform self care tasks and family chores that most children in the United States do not perform until older. Some children may not be expected to perform self-care tasks until older because their families value interdependence or doing things for each other over personal independence. So you will have to base your judgment on your own family's culture. Things that parents can do are provide a wide range of fine motor activities to interest and appeal to your child, use finger plays, strengthen hand grasp and release with squirt bottles, medicine droppers, pull punches, clothes pins, and molding dough, string beads, pick up objects with twings or tongs or tweezers, fold paper in halves and quarters, practice tearing paper, opening and closing containers, wind up toys, practice cutting, 
allow time for drawing, painting, writing, and the use of various writing materials. Allow your child to pour liquids, serve their self at the table, and scrape and rinse their plates. And encourage your child to dress himself. Thank you for coming uh, to uh, join us today for this presentation about movement expectations for kindergarten. Documents containing the suggestions for parents to support fine and gross motor movements at home, as well as a list of related materials with links to related activities can be found on our website, DelawareReadinessTeams.com. Thank you again for joining us.